here we are going to see uh, how to use uh, Fury app to post uh, purchase related invoice. So uh, in Jio, I use FB60. So against that FB60, uh, we have a Fury app create incoming invoice. If you know transaction code, you can put transaction code here and uh, you can search. And if you don't know, you can put the create incoming invoice and you can search and you will get this particular app. So once you go into this app, uh, just click on this uh, create incoming invoice app. So once this is done, just a second, I'm getting a external sound. Okay, so when you click on this particular app, uh, it will allow you to post the transactions uh, like or GUI. So just add all the details. So first you need to set your company code. So I'm going to set my company code to Tata Motors US and continue. Uh, give the vendor search here uh, for the vendor details. And uh, as we are not uh, able to see country and all other information, just click on uh, category and I want to see at a company code level supplier. So just select this option and I have the company code uh, Tata Motors US and click on go. So whatever the vendors are been created for this company code, I will see here, uh, just select this one. So I have the vendor. Now I will put the invoice date as same date and uh, I N invoice number R two P zero zero one. Uh, I'm just randomly giving any number and amount. I will mention as ten thousand USD and text. I'm trying to give the same text as uh, reference number. So if you scroll down, so you will have the. Uh, sometimes it can you can see uh, this in the same screen by adjusting the size or else. Uh, uh, you can reduce the size that is fine. Okay, so just add all the information and scroll down. If it is not fitting and you are not able to see the GL account on the same screen, you just need to scroll down and select here the GL account. Click on go. So I am going to use purchase account here. And the amount. Uh, this is going to be at 10,000 USD. I will just give the cost center. So my cost center is US rent. So after filling all this information, you can click on simulate option. So just I, I will click on simulate and to check whether uh, my transaction is looks good. So we have withholding tax so that the reason withholding tax and everything looks like this and everything looks good then click on post now you can see that uh, document 19000 is been posted i want to see the document again so for to see this document go to either you can go to this uh, transactions like uh, fb03 or uh, you can go to Let's try and find view details. Copy the document number. Oh, uh, we missed the document number, not an issue. So let's go to FB03. It will take a little bit of time uh, to download the app and all. That is fine. If you remember the app name, you can add the app name directly or else uh, if you remember the transaction code, you can uh, try to add the transaction code. In real scenario, you will have only apps which are required for you. Uh, you will see here or other apps which is not required for you, you will not see here on the uh, as a tiles. So that will be set up by the authorized teams uh, like a security team and all so you don't need to 
uh, remember all the app names or our transaction code names and all. Yeah, uh, we do see this uh, slow things in the lower environment or uh, maybe uh, in the training environment. Uh, but in real scenario, when you go with and work with the client, uh, you will not see uh, these types of issues. Even if it is there, uh, you will see at the beginning, not at the end. Uh, mean, I mean, uh, when you download this app at the first time, so that time it take a lot of time to run all the backend process and all. Uh, so once this is run and uh, you don't need to, it will not take that much time. So if you want, you can skip this portion and uh, I will pause for a, uh, till I see the document FB0 means uh, app FB03. So this is the app uh, display document and go to that app and uh, uh, copy all the details which we have posted in the uh, vendor invoice. So that is uh, 19. Yeah, so you can see it, it's shown up directly. So you don't need to enter. If you uh, it is not showing up, you can enter it. So give the financial year and click on continue. So this is how you can see the same document we are created just now using Fury app. Thank you.